Hey guys and girls, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to spot a fake ordinary product. Stay with me to find out more. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as I said earlier, today we're doing a quick video on how to spot fake ordinary product. As you know, if you follow our channel, our channel obviously is not all about cosmetics, but because recently uh, we've been selling and buying a lot of cosmetics for resale, a lot of people have been asking, because I do quite often say that a lot of fake cosmetics out there, how to spot a fake. So I will do occasional video for you guys and girls who are interested in finding out how to spot fakes in cosmetics. So, and today, this is the first thing that I came across, is a fake ordinary product. If you've been watching the videos of me unboxing the our cosmetic ones, we have a lot, a lot of ordinary products. Excuse the coffee machine in the background. <laughs> we have a lot of ordinary products. And to be fair, this is the first, first fake product that I actually came across in ordinary. So we have two of those here. Do apologize, the boxes are a little bit grubby and a little bit damaged anyway, but this is how they arrived to us. So on the first instance, this is the fake one. This is the original one. First of all, you can see, and you can only see this if you have actually the original one on the side, side by side with the fake one, is the color of the box. The fake one is kind of pure white comparing to the original one that it is actually slightly bit yellower. I know some people before said that some fake ordinary boxes are not velvety, but this one is feels velvety and smooth however the color is totally wrong and as i said the only way you know this if you have this side by side um second of all um again obviously as you know um they do a huge variety of uh, what well, the acids and peels and all sorts of things and obviously the english language is the first language on the packaging on the front so you can see on the original the acids are spelled correctly on a fake one they're written acids in french and on the front which is not correct um thirdly the whether you can see or not on the video, but on the daylight, the fake ordinary gray line is just pure gray, yet the authentic one has got silver sort of glittery finish to it. Apart from then, on the boxes, I know sometimes you have, um, so you've got fluent ounces, you've got the American written on that, but it's like varies because obviously ordinary like any other uh, manufacturer, they do change the packaging, things do uh, change slightly, however, Sometimes you've got the US written on there, sometimes not. It doesn't automatically say that this is fake. Secondly, not secondly, it's like fourthly, whatever. Um, if you have a look on the side of the fake one, whether you can see this or not, but the text is actually overlapping each other. So it's not written correctly. So they basically just mistyped it really, really badly. Uh, on the original ones, everything is written sort of perfectly. There's no spelling, there's no gaps, but you can see there. It is like literally letters are on the top of letters, so whatever happened there, I don't know. All right, let's go and crack the things inside. With the way the box is open, is nothing different there. But so, let me get this up for you. Right, okay. Because fakes, I do, I do apologize, they are different products anyway, but um, because fakes do get better and better, because Chinese like to sort of, you know, copy and sort of, keep up with the trends. Anyway, um, in the really, 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 really bad fakes, the numbers that are on the boxes, uh, hold on, where's the great box? Here we go. We have a serial number on the bottom of the box and we have this on the bottle. On the really, really bad fakes, the numbers do not match at all. Uh, on some fakes, you do not have serial number on the bottle whatsoever. Sometimes they just put a sticker on. So if you have a sticker on the sticker, that means it's a fake. Nonetheless, the serial numbers on all of them, be original and fakes, do normally match to the box. Right, so side by side, we have, right, that's the one of the main things there. Um, the fake bottle, which is this one, if you can compare the lids, right, the lid shape of the pipette is slightly differently, is more pronounced where it's creasing there, and the little ridges there, are quite close together comparing to the ones so here. There's a six of them there and they're quite far apart. So you can see clearly the difference in there. Have a look in the bottle. All the fake ones is quite often, they do not sit properly on the bottle there. And then sometimes they get really crooked, okay? Another way to find out is the pipette on the original one is nice and soft and feel like a silicone-y, sort of really easy to use. On the fake ones, they're really tough, feels like a bit of old rubber. So that's kind of a telltale sign but you just as soon as you look at the um, the shape of the lid and the crookedness of it and like the glass sort of molded really badly you can just see 
this is fake. And also the last but not least very tiny difference there is the where the pipette touches the bottle there is a slight gap on the original ones and yet there is no gap on the fake ones. It's very very minor difference but it is there. So to be fair guys like this is the main I don't know what other points, whatever they put inside the products. I, you know, I'm not even gonna bother trying to put this on my skin to and compare. However, as soon as you see the lid and the misspelling stuff on the box, really, that's literally a giveaway. So, anyway, hopefully you guys find this helpful. I will do, as I said, some more other videos as and when I come across some other fake products. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.